doing a short uh, installation video for the uh, UP10 remotes for the uh, SA type Lincoln machine. These will fit about any of the machines. First thing you do is you pull the hood off so you can get access to the rheostat. The next step is take the wires off the rheostats. Now these wires are color coded. Make sure you put them back in the same place. There's a coil and a wiper. Just uh, when you reassemble this, get them back in the same place. Kind of come around to the front of the panel. Take an Allen wrench and loosen the set screw on your indicator needle. Pull it off. Take a wrench and pull your rheostat. Just take it all the way off these two bolts. Bring it around. Set it on the adapter, clutch adapter of the front here. And we'll bolt these barrel nuts onto this thing. Okay. Then go ahead and tighten the barrel nuts on the adapter plate. Take your slip clutch, slide it over the shaft on the rheostat, line up the flat part of the shaft to the Allen wrench, snug it down. And I make a point, this can be mounted in reverse. It doesn't matter. Whatever fits on your machine the best. Then your next step is take the uh, gear motor and you rotate it inside that, inside that motor mount. And leave just a little bit of slack. Snug the hose clamp down. Check your slack. That's a little too tight. Snug it down and then check the slack. And you want just a little bit of slack. At this point, you take this assembly and you mount it back onto the back side of the face plate. Tighten up the bolts on the face plate. Snug them back up. Now I've got a small adapter here. You take the flat part of this adapter, you slide it into your needle, you take your Allen wrench and you tighten it up, snug it up real good. And it screws right onto the quarter inch thread on the machine. You take a 7 16 inch wrench and there's a lock nut. You lock that into place. And then you rotate it around and then you find the stop. There we go, it's a hundred. Stops at a hundred and goes around the other way, stops at ten. And then you take the uh, transmitter after you you put the hood and everything back on. You can mount this transmitter anywhere. If you got a toolbox, a lot of people mount them on the uh, side panel of the machine like that. But I've got magnets on these, but you can mount them with the bolts or whatever you want. You take your red wire and uh, you hook it up to the ignition switch. So when the ignition is on, it energizes the, the receiver. And then your black wire is your ground. You can test it, take your key fob, and you test it, run it all the way to the stop, and make sure the slip clutch isn't too tight. It's slipping, that's about right. Take it all the way around, and if it slips at any time, just take this lock nut and tighten it up a little bit, or if it's too tight, loosen it. But you want it to slip, or you can adjust it by hand. And then you just mount this inside your welding hood. I got Velcro on this one. Uh, most people put them in their welding hoods. And then just reassemble everything and you're good to go. If you need any more help with this thing, just call us. My number's on the website. My website is up-10pen.com.